Today I am going to share with you my wash day routine. In today's routine, I am going to be doing a DIY protein treatment. This is the protein treatment that I have. In this one, I have avocado, I have aloe vera, and I have one egg. So this is what I'm going to be using for the protein treatment. I'm going to list the benefits of all these ingredients that I use. I want to get a trim done professionally. I don't want to do the trim myself. Because the last time I trimmed my hair, I actually didn't trim my hair, I just cut my hair. Because the last time, if you watched that video, you would notice that I cut my hair. But now I need to get some trim because the ends of my hair is looking very untidy and uneven. So I need to get a trim, but I need to get it professionally done. That means I need to save money towards it. The reason why you always have to section your hair before working on it is because it helps you to work quick it also helps you to attend to every strand on your hair and take care of it very well so that's the reason why you need to always you know put your hair in sections before you start working on it i'm gonna start working from the back because it's easier that way. Put on this one. My hair is already, you know, detangled, so I'm not gonna do much detangling. And one thing about me is I barely use a brush or a comb to detangle my hair because I'm trying to avoid um, so much breakage. And like I said, my hair is due for a trim, but I want to do it professionally this time. I don't want to do it on myself. this this is a protein treatment so you do not have to neglect your scalp you have to make sure you apply the max to even the roots of your hair not forgetting your scalp because you know as much as you're taking care of your hair strands you have to also take care of your your scalp yeah so do not neglect your scalp make sure every strand is well covered but also make sure that the roots of your hair is covered as well with the mask mm, i'm going to focus more on the ends of my hair because the ends of your hair is the weakest part of your hair so you always have to make sure you're treating it with care after i apply the protein mask on my hair i go ahead and put my hair in twist because i want my hair to be able to hold on the goodness of the protein that i've applied and that is why i just go ahead and put it in a twist. So 
the consistency of my protein max is a little bit watery because I don't want it too thick and because it's a little bit watery I'm not gonna use um, the water anymore so I'll just go ahead and apply the max directly on my hair After the application, I will let the protein mask sit on my hair for roughly 30 minutes before I rinse it out and go ahead and shampoo my hair and decondition it. So I'm just doing the side of my hair on camera, but I will finish up the other side of my hair and then let it sit for 30 minutes rinse it out and come back and show you guys how I will shampoo my hair as well as how I am going to decondition my hair. So, do you see how I am gently doing this? When you're working on your hair, treat your hair like it's your baby because obviously your, your hair is part, <laughs> do you all see this mess? <laughs> Your hair is part of your body and in as much as you care for the other parts of your body, your hair should also be cared for in that way. Take your time, do not rush it, be patient and make sure while you're applying the protein mask, you're, you know, detangling your hair as well. It is always advisable to detangle your hair with your fingers rather than just going straight with a white tooth comb or a brush before you detangle with the white tooth comb make sure that you first detangle with your fingers the best tool for detangling your hair is your fingers if you agree with me on that put it below in the comment section and yeah so i'm working it through every strand i do it this way because i want every strand of my hair to receive the goodness of this DIY protein mask you know and I said as I said make sure you are concentrating on the ends of your hair the ends of your hair is the most delicate part of your entire hair so And just like that, you would go ahead and twist it away.
you see how easy it is when you work on your hair in sections and that is why i will always recommend that you work on your hair in sections always because it's easier and it, and it helps you to take care of your hair very well I'm so excited to be doing this. I mean, to be taking care of my natural hair because this has always been me. I'm a natural hair enthusiast. Like I've always loved natural hair. I feel like the reason why I grew my Instagram followers, like part of it was because of the natural hair tips and tricks that I was teaching them. I was doing a lot of DIYs on my Instagram story and I still have them in my highlights I'll pop it on here for you to see just in case you want to learn more DIY treatments for your natural hair I have a lot of them on there you can check it out and that was how I grew I feel like that was how a lot of people got to find me Ricada Forsen because I was into natural hair even before I started like fashion and you know working with some brands back in Ghana so natural hair has always been my thing I grew my hair to almost like back length yeah but unfortunately I cut my natural hair I did cut my natural hair before I relocated to the United States my first natural hair video on my youtube account i talked about why i cut my natural hair and i show videos on the length of hair that i had before i cut my natural i cut my natural hair very short and i have videos of all of that in that video so you can check it out and i am so impressed i'm so impressed with the growth i'm so impressed with the growth that i'm seeing right now all i have to do is to love my hair more and make time to take care of it like i'm doing right now so if this is something you love if something you can relate to please subscribe because i'm gonna put out quite a number of natural hair contents and i'll take you all on my journey of growing my natural hair healthy and i say healthy and not length because i feel like if your hair is healthy you're definitely going to reach your length goal so focus on healthy hair before you focus on length. Yeah. I'm doing a three strand twist for this because I feel like this portion of the hair is quite heavier than the other portion that I've already done. So for the products, for the hair to be able to hold the product, I have to put it in a three strand twist so i am done i'm done i'm done working on this part i will do this part off camera and i'll come back and show you guys the results before i sit for 30 minutes and wait for my hair to receive the goodness of this protein max treatment see you guys this is pretty If you have a heat cap, you have to skip this step. But if you do not have a heat cap, you can improvise by using a rubber bag. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to let this sit on my hair for 30 minutes, like I said earlier. So what I'll do is I'll rub my hair with this um, rubber bag. Yep. Go ahead and rough number one. Then 
Then I'll go on and then put on my bonnet because I want my hair to be able to, you know, generate more heat. And yeah, this is how we have it. So I'm going to let this sit for 30 minutes. The reason why I am doing this is because I want my hair to receive the goodness of the max that I put on my on my hair. Every strand needs this. And also I'm doing this because this is like another form of steaming your hair. So if you have a heat cap, you can skip this process. But if you don't have a heat cap, this is another way to you know make sure you can steam your hair so this way your hair or your body or whatever is going to generate the heat and make sure that the products are well distributed into your strands so guys i will come back after 30 minutes to show you guys the results it's 30 minutes now i will just go ahead and take the This is how my hair is looking. Let's see. Okay, so this is how my hair is looking after the protein treatment that I put on. This is the result we are getting. I'll go ahead and wash this off and then I will be back to shampoo my hair. So, see you. See you later. I just finished rinsing out the protein mask out of my hair. So, the next thing I'm going to do is shampoo my hair. Today, I'm going to use um, this products to shampoo my hair. Trust me, I guess that's the pronunciation. It smells really good.
Do you guys see how I'm washing my hair? I'm using the tips of my fingers to scrub my scalp because mind you, in as much as you're trying to cleanse your hair, do not neglect your scalp because your scalp is part of your hair. So this is, this is it, okay? This, put it in here and then try to kind of massage it but you you're not massaging it because you want to you know make sure that your scalp is clean just like that I'm doing the same thing. I'm going in with the tip of my fingers. And I, for me, I cleanse my hair twice. So this is like the first one. I'll just go ahead and cleanse it for the second time. Anytime you're washing your hair, do not neglect the front part of your hair. Okay, it also deserves some love and some care. So like I said, just use the tip of your, your fingers to scrub it. And also, do not forget the side of your hair. We call it important. So I'll just go ahead and cleanse my hair for the second time. The next time you guys will see me will be when I'm applying the deep conditioner. I just finished cleansing my hair for the second time and rinsing out the shampoo. The next thing I'm about to do is go ahead and deep condition my hair. You do not have to use the products that I use. Any products that work for you, you can just use it. So I am going to use this deep conditioner to deep condition my hair. And this is OC the Miracle Curls. So let's see how it's going to, you know, make my hair look well conditioned and shiny and beautiful. So let's just get right into it. When I tell you the shrinkage is disrespectful this is what i mean look at how my hair just shrunk it up to look this small <laughs> it's funny so like i said i anytime you're working on your hair do not forget to work on your hair in sections so i'm going to put my hair in sections before i go ahead and apply the the conditioner it does not have to be perfect So the reason why I still have the water in my hair is because I'm deep conditioning. Anytime I wash my hair and I rinse the stuff out, I don't wipe the water out because I need the water to work on the other parts of my hair.
So anytime you are applying a deep conditioner, you start from the ends of your hair and then you work it through the rest of your hair. I already deep conditioned my hair and I allowed the conditioner to sit for 30 minutes. So I'll go ahead and then rinse it out of my hair. This is it. Let me just take it out. I just finished rinsing out the deep conditioner out of my hair. You can see the water dripping because like I always tell you, I do not clean the water out of my hair. I always keep it in my hair because my hair needs that, you know, water for me to be able to work on it very easily. So this is how my hair is looking. I don't know if I want to blow dry my hair or if I just want to, you know, apply the leave-in conditioner and things in it and just let it and just put it in twists. I don't know what I want to do, but can you all see how soft my hair feels? It feels very soft. I can just run my hands through it. Can you see the shine? Yes, and I did not, I did not use any comb. Or brush while I was working on my hair I just use my fingers to detangle everything so I decided not to blow dry my hair so I just want to put it in three strand twist and that will be it yeah the first thing I applied was this oil moisturizer for that that was the first thing I applied on my hair and then the second thing was this homemade butter that I have. And then the last thing I applied was this oil that I made. So this is like my herbal oil that I use on my hair. It was, it's actually homemade. So that is, these are the products I have on my hair right now. You can see. I'll just, I'm not going to do this in any, you know, neat order because I'm not gonna do that. All I need is for my hair to be well taken care of and that's what I'm doing. I hope this routine was helpful. I hope you're gonna inculcate protein treatment in your wash day routine. I am going to be very intentional with protein treatments henceforth. I'm going to be doing it twice every month because I want my hair to receive the strength. I want my hair to shine i want my hair to be looking good so i'm not gonna skip protein treatment if you enjoyed this video please do not forget to like do not forget to share and do not forget to engage it helps a youtube algorithm to share my videos to millions of people <laughs> yes yeah, so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye